Good morning, friend. My name is Caroline Scruggs, and today I am going to give you your very first theremin lesson. So the theremin was the very first electronic instrument ever invented, and it's exactly 100 years old this year. But probably the coolest part about the theremin is that it's one of the only instruments in the world that's played without touch. So today we are going to cover the foundation of how to play this instrument so that you can take this to all of your friends and family and say, hey, I know how to play this really weird, obscure instrument called the theremin. And everybody will be like, oh, wow, it's a very impressive skill. Okay, so let's get started. First things first, there are two antennas. This one determines the pitch. This antenna over here determines the volume. We're going to take the right arm and essentially move it from the collarbone to the antenna. That's kind of like your fret, if you're familiar with stringed instruments. So as you move toward the antenna, it gets higher. And as you move toward your collarbone, it gets lower. Cool? Good? Onward. This is the volume antenna. When I want this instrument muted, I just keep my hand, dip it in between this loop right here. And when I want the volume raised, I simply raise my hand. So now you have your pitch, you have your volume, and we have this weird motion of kind of like patting your head and rubbing your stomach at the same time, right? So you'll practice that, you'll get used to it. Next thing is your posture. So we want to place ourselves right between the whole instrument as a whole. I'm also sitting down because that makes life a lot easier with the theremin. You certainly can play it standing up. I do it a lot, but the trick of this instrument is that you have to keep the rest of your body that's not playing the instrument completely still or it will be heard in the instrument. So when you sit, it really lets you have a chance to still your body a little bit more. Now, I am about an arm's length away from this antenna, which is exactly where I wanna be. You can see the tips of my fingers are stretching a bit beyond it, but that gives me full extension. Now, I know you are eager to learn all of the hand positions already, but my friend, calm down. This is your very first lesson. We're just going to start with hand position one and try to make some notes today. So if you can do an okay sign like this, okay, and then just close your fist. Keep this little circle right here. And that's hand position one, essentially. Now pretend like there is a string on your fret from your, just below your collarbone to your long antenna, your pitch antenna. And what we're going to do is take this string and pull it toward you and try to have the straightest line that you possibly can. Good. Now we're going to stop in certain places and that is where we're going to conjure up pitch. Very good, my student. We have made sound together now. We have made actual notes. And that is a lot of progress on your part. So let's recap. First of all, you know how to turn the instrument off and on. You know how to control your volume with your left hand and the volume antenna by lifting up your hand. You know how to control your pitch and where your fretboard, as it were, is. To stop and conjure up your first notes. You know where you are positioned in accordance with the theremin, which is about an arm's length away and right in the middle in between the two antennas. And now I wanna give you a very fun bonus tip that we'll get more into in a later lesson, but I just wanna give you a little taste of it. With the four knobs in front of me, there are two on the right side that say waveform and brightness. These determine the overall tone of the instrument. It's basically like you can change the voice in any way you please. So here's where we are. Now. 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 And that really 
lets you choose a mood and atmosphere for whatever kind of music you are trying to make with the theremin. It really has such a huge range and so many possibilities. It's such a voice-like, string-like instrument. And I think that it really lends itself well to anything that you just want a little quirky, weird addition to. So that was your very first theremin lesson. If you enjoyed this and you would like to see more theremin things and weird music, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, tell me what you think below and any questions you might have that I might be able to answer in our next theremin lesson. All right, now get to practicing.